Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm super excited for this video because I get to spend my star coins. And when is that not fun? It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna be spinning a wheel with a bunch of different horse breeds from Sir Stable on it, and I'm gonna buy whatever horse that wheel lands on, which is kind of terrifying because I don't have the budget for just buying horses all willy-nilly. Like, I have I have the budget for about two and a half horses. So, we're going to be buying two horses today. I'm kind of hoping that luck is on my side today, but we'll just see. All my horses are maxed, so I usually just, like, log on and reorganize my inventory for, like, the hundredth time, which gets really boring really quickly. I thought this would be a fun way for me to spend my money, and it's going to be all fun and games until I get a horse I don't like. Okay, I'll try to cut right to the chase and... And let's check out this little wheel I made. Welcome to our wheel of horse breeds. I put together a list of all the horses that I don't have or don't have a lot of. And if you're not seeing a breed on there, it's probably because I already have a lot of that breed on like an alt account or something. And I just don't, I wanna have options for each breed. So with that being said, once this wheel chooses a breed, then I'm going to put all the variations of that horse breed into another wheel, spin, and then buy whatever variation of that breed it lands on. So, let's get on with it and click the wheel. And our first horse of the day is gonna be, sit back and watch it happen, a, okay, this is a Irish halfling <laughs> an irish halflinger dang this is a good first spin like i don't have any of the halflingers either and i think they're pretty cute this gives me the opportunity to actually buy one i really thought i was gonna get like the curly or something and i do not like the curlies but you know good for spin let's go check out the variations see what variation we're getting thank goodness i did not add any gen 2 horses into that list because man these halflingers are something else they're they're a little crusty looking don't get me wrong i love the older models but i cannot have gen 2 horses crowding my stable right now i just can't afford that the funny thing is in like 2019 or something i was actually gonna buy one of these halflinger generation 2 halflingers because I really wanted one uh, to commemorate the horse I was riding in real life at the time, who was this like chubby little halflinger pony, and I really wanted one, but my friend talked me out of it, and I'm thankful she did, because I'm not a big fan of them anymore. I love the main styles on this horse, especially the braids. The halflinger's mane is so thick, so they made them really chunky, and I don't usually like the braids very much, but I really like them on this horse. The continental braids, the fancy style is also pretty cute. You know, I'm just gonna stick with the default. The liver coats really are my cup of tea. If I were getting this horse on my own, I think I would get the flaxen chestnut pangare coat. I don't know if I'm pronouncing pangare right, but that is up to the wheel, so let's see what we get. You know, I really can't complain if I get any of these coat colors because I got so lucky with my first horse breed pick. Anyways, let's see what the wheel has in store for us and what coat color we're gonna get. Oh, oh yes, okay, we skipped right over those liver coats. Oh, that one. You know, guys, that one? I don't know how to explain it. I forgot the coat color name. It's the one with the blaze. That one's really cute, actually. Okay, I'm happy with that have it way zoomed in so i could get a closer look but then i just turned around and it's just like boom so crusty especially compared to these horses They're like oh that's not too bad it's just a girl chilling out and i turn around see my crusty little face i've got to be patient star stable is updating the characters okay i found the first horse i'm gonna be buying and oh my goodness those lashes girl they're so cute i think i'm in love i really like the blaze as well and the dappling Wow, I like the idle animations as well. Okay, we've got the gates. It's nice. Trot's nice. Okay. I like the fast gallop, I think. I think I do. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't think it has a special gate. It does not. I'm just going to go with the OG main here. This one's gorgeous, but I don't think I'm going to change the main because I like it the way it is. I could be really extreme and make another wheel to pick out the hairstyle, but you know what? We're not feeling that risky today. Go ahead and bye. I don't know what to name the horse. We're going with Little Feather because I feel like that's pretty cute. Whoa, that caught me off guard. <laughs> I kind of forgot it sparkles when you click the buy horse. Oh, I love this little scene. Face looks a little creepy here. <laughs> oh, oh, it was so cute though. I'm gonna right now, obviously. 
And here she is. I honestly don't have anything bad to say about this pony. I think the coat is really nice and the animations for the most part are super cute. So let's go into the arena and test some of the animations out. That's interesting. We've got a nice stop, okay. At least it's not like the Jorvik Frisian stop where they slide for about a mile. Oh, the rear is so small. I'll just cut to a quick montage of all the animations so you guys can check this pony out better. Okay, you guys get the idea. The Halflinger is super cute, and I feel like I got pretty lucky for my first spin. So let's take another go at the wheel spin and see what our next horse breed is. I took the Halflingers off the wheel just because I don't want to like have it re-select that, you know? So anyways, we're back at the wheel. Let's just see what we get. Okay, here it is. Our second and final breed of the day is the trackner oh this is actually um <sighs> and this is the moment i start uh regretting that i ever did this video <laughs> okay i like the trackners this actually isn't that bad i'm being dramatic there are some cute trackners they're just kind of an older gen 3 and there was a lot of other horses i would rather have but this is what we get for gambling like this let's just check out the variations the tractor i currently have is this chestnut one over here on my alt if i were to buy this horse on my own i would get either the black pinto or the dapple gray and actually all these horses i think except for the moblap horse are all discounted at the time I'm filming this for like 500 something star coins. So, you know, if I were ever to buy a trackner again, now would be a really good time to do it. I made the wheel and we have all the trackners besides the chestnut. I did include the one from the mobile app, which if I do get that one, that's going to be kind of a pain because then I'm actually going to have to go into the mobile app and train up a horse and then we can buy it nonetheless um yeah let's just spin the wheel and let's just see what horse we get that is gonna be the bay pinto the only one that's not discounted and the one i have to go and train on the mobile app why Ugh, i was like oh my gosh this is gonna be so great i got the trackner and they're they're discounted nope i still have to pay full price which is okay at this point there's no going back i'm committed so i will see you guys when i have purchased this horse in game okay the trekner is bought and it is waiting for me in my home stable that was the hardest purchase i've ever had to do on a star stable horse i did not want to press that purchase button that hurt i need to find the trekner let's see how much i regret buying this horse you know what it's kind of cute it's kind of cute we're just gonna get some tack for it real quick and maybe that'll make it look a little better. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah, I don't know why I keep trying that. Fit check. <laughs> it is really hard for me to spend my star coins as you can see. Actually, I kind of like this horse. See the rear. Mm. <laughs> no comment. You know, it might not be the Appaloosa or the Paso Fino or the Finn horse. But you know what? What's not to love about this face? It's actually kind of cute. I think I've changed. You know, how can I not be excited about buying a horse in Star Stable, right? I like it. I think it was a good purchase. Okay, now off to a montage of all the gates and stuff. <laughs> Alright everyone, um, that's it for today's video. It was kind of a lot for me. I am now 1,650 star coins poor and unable to afford any horse in this game. Well, actually no, it's not true unless I want to buy like a, a crusty gen 1.5 horse. Nonetheless, I feel like it could have been worse. You know, I think I ended up with some decent horses. I really like my halflinger. 
my trackner i have very mixed feelings about yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i certainly did not and kind of did you know i have mixed feelings on this video it was fun it was a little risky but you know it was fun i had a good time spending my star coins that i have been saving up for like this past year that's probably like six months savings of star coins just down the drain actually more like four months but still, isn't that what life's about? Spending money? Not really. But anyways, I'm getting off topic here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.